everyone. Welcome to the fifth episode of Five on Fry with AJ Fry, the show where I talk about five topics in five minutes or less. And on our fifth episode, the topics are me, a TV show that I love, a new operating system that I'm going to get multiple copies of, some interesting gaming news surrounding the death of a popular character, and of course, our Canadian cosplay cutie. Let's begin. So the big news about me is that I'm now officially a much creator. It's pretty big news for me. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, but AJ, you're already a host on space and I absolutely love that and don't have any intention of leaving inner space anytime soon. But you gotta realize when I was a kid growing up in Ottawa, my dream job was to be a much music VJ. I used to come down to Toronto and walk past the building that I work in now and stare up at 299 Queen Street West and think one day I want to work there. Now when that dream came true and I got my job working on space, I was overjoyed and, and over the moon. <laughs> um, but there's something kind of different about working for much, even if it's in this silly capacity where I make these videos in my underwear and you can't see that and upload them to the internet. I'm just proud that I can finally say I made it to much. I pursued my dreams and now they're happening, albeit in a slightly different way. So all it really means is that you can expect to see more new episodes of Five on Fry every Friday and more new vlogs from me whenever I feel like being an idiot. And I feel like being an idiot a lot. I don't know how it keeps happening because it's the summer and that's typically when TV series are off the air, but one of my favorite shows, Face Off, has returned in its ninth season. It is a makeup competition reality show, and I know for a lot of people, myself included, the words reality show make me turn off immediately. But Face Off is different. It's a competition that celebrates creativity and artistry, and all of the competitors are helpful and they congratulate one another. It's a great loving vibe of people, geeks, let's face it, geeks like myself, um, celebrating the stuff that they do really, really well. They've got a great crop of competitors this season, and they gave them a whopper of a challenge for the first episode. Ugh! And I don't know how, but every season there seems to be like one female contestant on the show who I get a bit of a crush on. Last season, Zara and I both had heart eyes for Emily Serpico and this year it looks like for me anyway it might be Britney but uh, first episode hard to tell so this is big news Microsoft has finally unified all of its operating systems and has released Windows 10 this week now a lot of my computers in my apartment are ready for the update but my desktop doesn't have quite the amount of storage space I want so uh, I wanted to show you what I went and ordered online I got this one terabyte hard drive Look at the size of this thing. And I mean, I mean, it's small for one terabyte worth of information. I remember my first 640 megabyte hard drive was, you know, like, like, like that compared to this thing. This thing is tiny, one terabyte right here in the palm of my hand. Anyway, now I have enough room to install Grand Theft Auto V along with all of my other favorite games so I can be ready for my LAN party with my buddies in the coming weeks. You should add me to Steam, steamcommunity.com slash ID slash AJ Fry. On to one of my favorite topics, gaming. Now, big news in the gaming world this week, League of Legends, the popular online MOBA, which stands for Massive Online Battle Arena, killed off one of its champions. This is huge news because the game works in an interesting way. You can download it for free and you'll have access to a rotating roster of champions to play as, but you can also buy champions and use them in the game which means some people may have purchased Gangplank, this character that the game has now killed off and they're not letting anyone play him. Now I suspect they're going to resurrect this character in a few days, have him become a ghost pirate, kind of like the ghost pirate LeChuck from one of the greatest games of all time, Monkey Island. But until then, the people who paid money to play as Gangplank kind of have a point that like, why would the game take away the thing that some people have paid money for? We're in an interesting time where you can buy things, but they don't exist anywhere. I purchased a few champions in the game, Volley Bear for the win, and if League of Legends decided, you know, we're gonna take Volley out of the game, well, I would be out the money that I spent on Volley Bear. But it really doesn't matter because I haven't played League of Legends in a long time. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see how this story develops and to see if they decide to kill off any more characters in the future. And our final topic, our Canadian cosplay cutie, and fittingly for the fifth episode, it is a friend of mine, it's a lot of alliteration, Sean Ward, of course, from the Sean Ward Show. Uh, his YouTube channel has almost 100,000 subscribers and features a bunch of Canadian cosplay cuties. In fact, an upcoming video will feature last week's Canadian cosplay cutie, Atlas. So you may as well subscribe to his channel, and while you're at it, subscribe to mine for more Five on Fry. I drop them every Friday. Thank you for watching this week, and I'll see you in the future.